guys welcome back new year new us 2021 uh before i continue uh the show is sponsored by expressvpn your data is your business go to expressvpn.com slash rttv to protect it Ooh -ha. um <laughs> Uh, before I even introduce literally everything else, uh, <laughs> you guys want to join us in chat? We're live right now. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, go to uh, go to roosterteeth.com, where you are right now, to create a free account. <laughs> 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 and join in chat. I am keeping an eye out on you guys. Look, I did it right now. Yo, I look just, around, um, dummies. <laughs> look around, dummies. I'm going to start bullying. Right now. I'm looking <laughs> at no. the chat. Um, hi, guys. I'm Isa. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I have notes, a show where people with surprisingly long IMDb lists come together to talk all things animation creative and saying, I have notes, ooh, in a voice. Um, joining me today, as always, is my lovely co host, Carrie Cockross. Cockross? <laughs> Sherry Cockross. Sherry Cockross. Sherry Cockross. Ooh, ooh. I was going to say ooh, ooh in the voice, but now I'm not going to do it. I just, that was the reason, just so you know. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, it's 2021. It's the year of the bully. Um, <laughs> calling it now. Uh, and with us, uh, that will not be bullying anybody. We have uh, our amazing, amazing recurring guest, Aaron. Hello. Ooh woo! I'm back, baby. <laughs> ooh woo! And ooh, uh, ooh. joining us once again, oh, wow. the lovely Caden. Hello. I have so many notes. Ooh, Whoa, let's ooh, do ooh. it. <laughs> we like the anime girl. Oh man. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> This is the this is the uwu episode. Uh, <laughs> the uwu episode. episode where everybody's just so soft and so cuddly, and we talk about stuff we really like. I think I say salty. We really, really hate. Yeah. I have twenty twenty one. I think will be salt. the year of the bully and the year of the uwu, and I think I that like those it. will combine. Uh, and and form a uh, chocolate peanut butter combination. Uh, I, I, no, I'm not gonna go with that. Don't bully. I'm I'm already I'm already away from that. Don't bully. Um, <laughs> oh, I just I decided like, say we, should, like um, yeah. we could we could ship them kind of like oh the, the like a oh, yeah. kind of lesbian kind of thing. couple. Yeah, it's like the le like last year there, there was a trend of like the bimbo and the, like regular girl like uh, but they turned out uh, people started like pairing them oh, okay. I love that I yeah the bully oh. and the uwu they oh be, the like, chat of the virgin like, couple <laughs> yeah yeah exactly well that, that's it now we're there now we're banned on <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you, I can't believe you did simp, that simp simp <laughs> what, what is that backwards I can't um pms pms I don't know pms pms <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh no! No! Uh, we did it! It's 2021. We made it. Good. Uh, how? Finally. How's everything? Everybody's... Is different now. Everything's changed except nothing's changed. Nothing. You know, 2021. It, it everything magically fixed. Uh, yep. The second the the second the the, the ball the turn. hit the the ground or does it go up or does it go down? It goes down. It goes it goes down. It goes down. It goes down. Yeah, the ball. It, which is what see, everybody that's a did bad in way to bring in the right. year. <laughs> it's like, we need to throw that ball up there. <laughs> I I don't know. I uh, but uh, you know some of you may have seen our episode last week and we made it look seamless. I'm sure you could tell, but we actually didn't record last week. It's been like two weeks since we've done an episode. <gasps> I know. I What's everybody been up to? Uh, Issa, you took time off. Aaron, you took some time off. I did. Caden, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> and I just took like two I, days I off. I actually took some time off. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, we did it. Well, <laughs> y'all, go ahead and take it away. Oh, me? Me hey, first? Anybody. Literally uh, anybody that did something uh, interesting in the last two weeks. I uh, it's not me. I have a six-page script that I'm still working on and still rummaging around my brain for, and I got Hell to yeah. dedicate some time to it. And I decided that uh, I started it before the break, and then in the middle of the break, I decided I'm gonna rewrite everything. So then I did that. Yay! <laughs> hey, sometimes that, you just yay. gotta start over. Start completely over. Start, it, like, start fresh. Sometimes it's like you have like, all right, cool. I've got two hours. Let me work on it. And then you don't work on it. And then it's 8, 9, 10, 11 p.m. And you're like, <laughs> I'm going to work on it now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the only <laughs> other thing I did, uh, I think, is I played Miles Morales, which I loved. Oh. I wished it was longer. That's that's my only complaint is should have been longer. Wished it was longer. 
I can see that. that I, the, I, I know a couple people, a couple people, you're not doing it this way. A couple people were using that as like, a, why is this like a full retail game? Uh, it was, it was plenty it was 40, for a full retail bucks. game. It's 40 it, bucks. It, there you go. Yeah. It was, it, it was absolutely worth $40. Um, oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Did you, did you play it on uh PS5 or PS4? Uh, I am a horrible pleb and I, uh, don't have any next gen console. So I just played it on PS4. It's okay. You can still be on the show. It's fine. It's fine. You could go and play, uh, Spider-Man remastered with the new, new, new guy. The new dude. Yeah. Yeah, He looks, he looks good. I mean, it looks fine. Sure. I mean, everybody was just like super mad about it. It's like, sometimes that just, you know, sometimes you just need to completely change what your face looks like. Yeah. Rewrite you know? entire script, rewrite your entire face. Yeah. <laughs> Just rewrite your, your entire second life, draft on this. Thing. You kidding me? Yeah. This I'd is love the beta. it. I love it. This I, I wouldn't beta. I wouldn't give myself a reverse Hitler. No. <laughs> oh, no. I can't I can't. Alright, here's your here's your four concepts. Yeah. Uh you can pick from any one of these. You can mix and match the size. Yeah. Yeah, give me a, give me a slider before my face gotcha. and and Ooh. give me enough Ooh. options. Uh, That's Aaron, good. how was your break? Oh, it was wonderful. Uh, I wish did you I uwu? I did uwu a lot. Um, <laughs> I try to remember what I did, but honestly, I kind of just like relaxed. I didn't do nice too much. Good. Also, it was right before Christmas, and typically for Christmas, I like to do like paintings for my family. Aww. Um, so I spent some time doing that, doing some traditional media. So, do your, oh, do your parents have like a uh? Uh, a display room a gallery oh yeah. yeah like yeah oh that's lovely that's nice thank you thank you <laughs> i want i want there to be just like a room in your in their house it's just like oh see you say that but a chair um, and that's it and just on the walls all around my dad's Spinning office around. Like, um office. he has like he's a, a doctor so he has like his own like clinic and whatnot and mm. oh. basically his office is like an Aaron museum Wow. But it's like sweet. Aaron That's of years past, so it's like really old, like toddler to like tween more, art. Though. It's true. I'll have to like find some old art and like show it sometime because some of them are pretty, pretty funny. He's he's got like <laughs> unique, uh, uh, like clinic or like doctor's office art, which is probably pretty rare because I'm guessing they all go sure. through like a service to get something that is like, oh yeah, you know, appropriate oh, like, for everyone. Yeah, you know, and like. <laughs> Nor like just, just like the, the kind of art that just like blends into the background. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just like, not offensive. You know, like a leaf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Completely inoffensive generic art. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm sure it's great. It's all beta Aaron art. Uh, he hasn't gotten. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't gotten the uh, beta full Aaron. Release, oh my god. Which is what I'm doing now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but, That's uh, a, oh my god. Yeah. Those are my favorite breaks. It's just doing nothing. I just always exactly. feel guilty. Like, I had plans, yeah. and it didn't work out, and I was like, you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm okay with just not doing anything for once. Yeah. So, did yeah. you, do yeah. you, do you, does the guilt creep in for you? Usually by, like, Sunday night, and yeah. it's like, I have work the next day, and it's like, oh, well. I could have, I could have done could have. Like, I have, like, like, the panic sets in, and then usually yeah. I'll treat myself and, like, go pick up food, and then yeah. I'll, be, I'll be okay after that. <laughs> Like, time, for some, uh, time for some time for some P Terry's and Ooh. I'm cured. P. Terry's That's a good. Sounds good. That, yeah. Crap, now I'm hungry. <laughs> Ooh, guys, did I? I texted a couple of you, but uh, oh, Tatsu yeah. is doing karage now. <gasps> so what? Excited. Just wanted to throw that out there for people who live in Austin. <laughs> Yeah, suck it, chat. It's tasty. That's good. Yeah. Oh, Move to Austin. Fucking deal with it. Is it? Is it? Uh, <laughs> is is it like an appetizer? Or is it like? Yeah, it's it one of their the like. Uh, it, it's one of their starters. Okay. Yeah. Hey, their starters. Still, I like their they, starters more than the ramen. Honestly. Are they still delivering? <laughs> you can pick up. That I don't. Know. Yeah, they, they, I think yeah, they can I pick, pick up. up all the time. Yeah. I learned. I uh, I don't know if you know this, but I figured out how to win, uh, ramen. When ramen. Like I won Explain. it. Okay. Like, like I've won the process of eating it. You get you get you order the the gyoza the pot stickers, and you put oh, it in yes. the ramen. Oh, oh my yeah. god! And then you Carrie. forget about it for like five minutes while you're eating the rest of the ramen. And then oh, what's that? This little this little dumpling I, I put in here, uh, and it's absorbed the juices and the flavor, uh, and you win. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, I, I, I know I'll you're all speechless, it. and it's it's because it's it's perfect. It, I know. It's such a good idea. It sounds idea. amazing. Yeah. It does. It's such oh, a good idea. It is. 
<laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> I'm very confident about this because I've done it and uh, it felt good in my tummy. Nice. Not certified. the next day. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. You said, um, how was I your, figured, you had a big break. I did. I, I figured something out about myself during um, the <gasps> Whoa. weeks I was off. Oh, dang. Um, can you get, can it you turns... lie down on a, like a leather couch behind you? <laughs> Let me get a clipboard. Um, ther- therapy <laughs> session time. It turns okay, now, out. Now, now you look dead. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it turns out that um, if I'm, I was just kind of straight relaxing, just doing whatever I wanted, which was really nice. Um, we're, I'll talk about something in our what we wanted to talk about later, like some of our yeah. nice stuff of 2020. Um, throwing that as a spoiler out there. <gasps> um, <laughs> going to run it right now. Something, <laughs> something that I was, um, something that I was doing was just like playing this game, but uh, similar to how dogs and cats need a lot of mental stimulation in order for them to like feel uh, fulfilled every day. Like mm-hmm. you need to play with them. You need to like make sure like do some training with them so they use their brain. Teach them math. Um, <laughs> teach them math. It turns out I need that too, or else I won't sleep. <laughs> oh. So I was sorely lacking in the sleep department during my time off, which oh, no. is weirdly ironic because yeah. you yeah. do that so you can sleep. And then um, the last week, I was just like. I am having a terrible time because I could not go to sleep. And then I was telling my SO, like, oh, man, I think come Monday, like, if I, I'm actually going to use more of my brain processes, and then that means I will actually sleep like a damn baby. And then it turns out I did. Nice. <laughs> uh, so I'm a little ashamed of myself. <laughs> hey, look, it, everybody, I mean, especially you've been in that rhythm for so long. It's like you need. Yeah. You need to 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 exercise every part of you to 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 wind down because yeah, if not, then you're just like all the thoughts fire when you're just like lying there at night. Yeah, it, then the, there's all my energy is kind of just thinking. It's like oh, I God, feel that do do? like just like trying to it's like, am I relaxing? Am I doing it? Is this it? Is this relaxing? Because <laughs> I'm awake. I'm gonna do such a good sleep I job. I don't feel I don't feel calm at all. Is this what relaxing is like? Because I don't like it. Oh no. <laughs> it's. Yeah, I. It's not see, fun. See, what I do is uh, going back to the 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 animal comparison is uh, I put all of my leftovers in mismatched Tupperware containers. So like the lid fits, mm. but not really well. So like it's harder to get off and get to my food, mm. um, and it just kind of um, makes me think a little bit more. <laughs> um, I'll put cheese in a little ball, and I have to like push it. I was around. gonna say you need like one of those toys where you have to like put the star shaped block into the star. Yeah. Yeah. Hole. This is Carrie saw... trying to put like a circle have into it. You, have you I seen saw... the video? Yeah, <laughs> the video. Tell them. Tell them. <laughs> the square. The, the, we have a square piece. It goes into the square hole. Now I have this rectangle piece. You know where this goes? That goes into the square, square hole. hole. <laughs> we, got, we have this 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 uh, cylinder. Circular the cylinder. We have a cylinder. You know where that goes? That you're right. Goes the square right hole. In the square hole. <laughs> it was like every piece of this entire set fit in the square hole, and I was just like, "That is amazing." I, it was like a it was like a full minute long TikTok, and I knew exactly what was happening from the second thing. I still watched every one of them, every single one. So good. I just like oh. it. It we had this like. Uh, anti-establishment vibe to it that like i really oh. enjoyed yep I... um <laughs> Ooh, what a good critique of anti-establishment you say i'm on board let's yeah go. let's bring it back hey uh <laughs> talk about the food thing real quick this is not important i just want to share this with somebody my, i think my cat's mad at me um oh, no. Oh, no. because i bought him these little like mice that you put the food in they're Uh-oh. not they're not real they're plastic okay um, <laughs> can you not figure it out no he can figure it out he doesn't want to <laughs> so I'll I'll put the food in the mice. You're supposed to hide them, but I don't even do that. I just throw them on the ground. And I'm just like, you, here's all of your food. Here's the normal amount of food. Just paw at it and you get it. And he'll do it. But first he'll run to the bowl and look at me. And then I have to leave the room. And like 20 minutes later, I'll walk back in and he's eating from the thing. He's pushing it around and he just kind of like looks at me. And then oh goes back God. to it. Like, fucking you fucking bastard. You fuck. How and then dare you. he'll eat it all and then come over to me and like, we gonna get some more food and like his his foods in the, in my my bathroom. It's like I'll go to the bathroom. Oh he'll run God. in there like we get more food. I'm like you you had it all. <laughs> you don't get more. God. That's it. 
Oh my Very God. relatable as a cat parent. <laughs> <laughs> but I need him to use his his noggin so he doesn't stay up all night. Yeah, but... he's in his. He's he's a. I think he's going to be in his terrible twos forever. So that's fine. Oh, it's fair. there there are some there are some things mm-hmm. just... like that. I'm going to love him no matter what, but I'm just, I'm tired of it. <laughs> um. That's, how, that's oh. how Pooper is. Like, she's 13, but she still acts like a little two-year-old. And Aww. she's also Aww. a fucking food goblin. Eight bucket. <laughs> I, I will say that in quarantine, there was always, like, going to the office and then coming back home. And there was the excitement of, oh, you left. You're back. Oh, yeah. Now, mm-hmm. now however, my cats are just like, if I go outside for, like, 15 minutes i come back inside they're just like where did you go what's how, what how, you abandonment abandonment <laughs> abandonment is what has happened here neglect Fine. and abandonment but you're back you're back okay i'm gonna need to like be near you for the next six hours to make sure that you stay here oh, what did i do i'm so babies. sorry <laughs> i'll never do it again so i have woken oh. up uh so much over the past, you know, quarantine with both of my cats just like sleeping right near my head and yeah. like nuzzling my head. I'm just like, hi, good morning, boys. And then Kofi, <laughs> my dog, morning, is like boys. right next to like right next to my lap. And then she's just like wakes up, moves her head. It's like, is it time to go out yet? Are we gonna? Is it? Is it? Is it awake time? She's like, no, it's not awake time. Yo, Kate, and I gotta now. piss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that's your dog. So that's like, a really good. That's a really good dog I mean, voice. She's, she's a two-year-old like girl, so I'd hope not. Uh, you know, look, look, I only do one voice, so uh, that's kind of. Oh, I got the spit take. I got the spit take. <laughs> I only do one voice. That's, Carrie that's all I got. I got this voice, and I got a piss. That's the other voice. I have. <laughs> it's my. It's my. It's my piss voice. Um, I'm gonna stop saying piss now. I'm um, mad at myself. That's the one for the pee pee poo poo jar. All right, yeah. here we go. All I have is this uh, empty container that I had some Pringles in, so I'll just put it Aww. in there. Here, I'm putting one one Pringles wrapper pee-pee. in the Pringle container, and that's my okay. punishment for saying pit. Ah, oh, dang it. Here we go. <laughs> Another that's one. The full, that's the full one. All right. There we go. I figured it out. Can't believe you got a spit take off of that. How dare you? How dare you? And and with the lag, the video lag, I managed to time <laughs> yeah, that shit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yes. Um, good expertly done. Carrie. Hello. Do our do do our segue. All right. Our segue. So. <laughs> segue. <laughs> it's our first episode of 2021, and hey, 2020 was a tough year, everybody. Oh um, my god. I know you I'm, haven't really ever heard that. Um, <laughs> so I'm doing the piss voice. Um, <laughs> So we hear it, and I have notes thought, what better way to move on from 2020 than to talk about 2020 more <laughs> and to talk about our favorite things from 2020. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've all we've all collected. We're not going to do like a I Have Notes Awards, best game of the year. We're not doing that. We're just, hey, what are some things that we liked in 2020? Spoiler alert, some of them didn't come out in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's a part of the narrative. Uh, but yeah, we, we thought this would be a fun way to uh, uh, share some some gems of 2020. And, uh, you know, it's not it's not like you got anywhere to go in 2021 yet. So there's still more time to watch and play games and stuff. Uh, Kaden, would you like to start? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, little animated series that came out. Uh, it mostly came out in 2020. It started in, in 2019. I watched it all in 2020. Uh, the Owl House, oh, which was hey. so fantastic. The it Owl was, House. The Owl House was really, really good. Uh, I, I'm Owl. very excited for where they go in, in the next season, especially with the way that like this, the first season ended. It's like, it hooked Whoa. me instantaneously. Like that first episode is just very magical, and um, if you yeah, haven't that's pretty seen cool. it, it's it's very fun. It's a uh, it's well done in a mm-hmm. lot of different ways. Uh, the animation very very pretty. They do mm-hmm. the backgrounds are great. Uh, mm-hmm. When you see the world itself, I'm not gonna spoil it because it's great. When they do like the world reveal of like here's the map of the world, it's like. <gasps> And everything kind of like gets put together, but can I guess? 
Yeah, sure. Is it Florida? No, no, no. It's a <laughs> much better place than Florida. <laughs> it's magical. 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 F- Florida's magical in a certain way. You <laughs> not bad deny that. Ma- that's the bad kind of magical. I didn't say, <laughs> like I didn't say good magical. I just said magical. That's, that's all right. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, but, it takes, uh, takes it to another dimension. Like, it was just, it was, it was nice. It was one of those things that I was so, I needed something like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, it had it, it did representation well it had a yeah. diverse cast of characters it had you know uh, it had resolution very quickly hmm. uh, for a lot of like little tiny threads that planted seeds in their resolutions for things that they were they seemed to be building up towards so I was uh, very pleased 19 episodes and uh, I am desperate for more also uh Hootie is the greatest an- like animated owl ever. It is <laughs> just ridiculous character. I love Hootie so much. I'm... Was it Cartoon Network or Disney Channel? It remember. is Disney, Disney Channel. Okay, so one yes. of the few uh, Disney few gems from Disney this year. One of the few <laughs> gems, for, probably like. Don't Mulan. worry, I want to talk about Mulan. <laughs> just kidding. I know. <laughs> just kidding. We will. Um, I know the animation director for a good chunk of the first season uh, was Spencer Wan, and he oh, was yeah. the one who um, was also behind Castlevania and mm-hmm. um, the Hades trailer. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Oh. So. <laughs> it's very good. Oh. He said Hades, Time. and my heart got very excited. Don't worry. I'm, yeah, don't worry. The real game of the year. They might. That might come up soon. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Now. Do they do they do they know that their show's name kind of sounds like The Outhouse? Carrie, don't ruin this for me. Okay, cool. Moving on, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie's in like real pee pee poo poo hours. I I, uh, I slammed some caffeine like right before this and it's kicking Yo, in. Yo, good move. Um, so all I can talk about is owls and piss. All right. <laughs> Aaron, what what is something? What is a piece of media that brought you joy in 2020, despite everything? I feel like I've talked about it a few times on this okay. show, but man, it was a fucking banger, and yeah, definitely up there on my like top 2020 discoveries. Uh, Chainsaw Man, and Ooh. luckily <laughs> while I was gone, I think like a day or two after my birthday or something, they announced that the anime is being greenlit and it's gonna be animated animated by mappa really so i think it's gonna Great. be wow. pretty tasty yeah and um technically the first part of the manga is done like it concluded i forgot end of december uh so mm-hmm. it is going to continue on a different uh shonen publication i think okay I, th- I think it was a little too intense for shonen jump i'm still shocked as how much was like shown in that um, it's uh it it seems a little bit more graphic than what they usually have. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, for a refresher, um, basically uh, very like devil hunters hunting demons or devils in this uh, world. Um, our main character, he makes a contract with his pet chainsaw dog, uh, chainsaw dog. <laughs> to become Ooh. Chainsaw Man. And I think I have more of a problem with that yeah. than the leap that he was just born with chainsaw limbs. <laughs> if only. <laughs> but the chainsaw dog is very cute. Aww. It's, it's okay. actually like, as gory as it is, it is like very touching. And I'm like surprised at the amount of times I cried over this manga. So I'm Aww. very excited for it to continue. And yeah, so, was... okay. So, so the, like the, they finished a run of it. Yes. And they're going to pick the like manga the up somewhere arc. else. Yeah. And then they're also going to work on the anime for the first arc. Correct. Okay, cool. Correct. So, Ooh, Aaron. get in on the ground yeah, floor. Uh, uh, from chat, Ace asked if you saw the Chainsaw Man Nendo prototype. I did. Ooh. I think, like, <laughs> I, Carrie, we were playing Among Us. I think and so, And somebody yeah. in your chat, like, I had three people, like, message yeah. me, Aaron, look at the Nendoroids. <laughs> it happened, and like, I, I, while I we screamed. were doing something. Yeah, I screamed. <laughs> Aaron, can, yes. I, can I ask a question that I like? Yes. I know is really juvenile, but I just need to know. Is it pee pee poo poo? I know what Carrie, I know what I know what yeah, Carrie's I, gonna ask. I'm not even like I'm not. Okay, I'm just okay. his his head is a chainsaw. His yes. arms are chainsaw. Uh, is anything else a chainsaw? As far as we know, no. He does at okay. one point. At one point, he does turn into like 
maybe minor spoilers, a giant, like, demon lord chainsaw dude, and he wears, like, organs oh. as a scarf. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so that's that is metal. a look. Yeah. So what that's you're what saying is anything's possible. Yes. Okay. That's all I need to know. <laughs> yes. We don't have to get more uh, graphic than that. Chainsaw dick. The new uh, Okay. Spin-off. Now, now <laughs> you said it. Now you just went and said it. Um, that is Gary, your turn. Uh, I guess. Uh, pee pee poo boy. We, yeah, this is this is not very pee pee poo poo. Uh, honestly, genuinely, one of my favorite things in 2020 was Hades. Uh, Hell yeah. Yay! Yay! We got uh, there. We did it, gamers. Right? Uh, I. I love everything uh, that studio does. Uh, I've, lo- I've I've played like every single one of their games, and I, I and we talked about this on the show some. Uh, but uh, if you're not familiar, it's a uh, it's I I always get it wrong. It's Rogue Light. Yes. It's Rogue Light. Yeah. Oh. I never know if it's Rogue. I think Rogue Light and Rogue Like are two different things. I never know what it is. Oh. But oh. you play, and when you die, your character resets, and you go back through a procedurally generated area. Um, mm-hmm. with this game, you accrue points and bonuses that, that keep going, keep going, as well as a really interesting story that unfolds in front of you. Um, so unlike some of these other games in the genre that are very punishing and you, you know, I think the extreme is like, you literally start, like you, you know, just booted up the game for the first time. Uh, you are not punished for not winning. Mm-hmm. Um, my kind of game, just playing and maybe, <laughs> You know, it's great if you get a little bit further, but just playing, you're gonna get you're gonna get better. Your character's gonna get better, uh, and the 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 dialogue trees that they have are are intense, uh, and and really like it, it's so far in that like the there's a person that uh, will talk to you like al- almost every time you come back uh, when you respawn, and they 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 have a a a distinct way to describe how you died almost every single time that's accurate yeah um i think Supergiant posted like uh their word count for like their scripts and like character who has like the most lines and who has the least mm-hmm. <clears throat> obviously zagreus because he's the main character yeah. is like the most but it's like thirty thousand lines or something it's, like, it's ridiculous yeah Whoa. it's oh a lot God. y'all you can probably yeah. like pull it up and find it really easily but Whoa. and one of my favorite things equal opportunity hotness yes yeah everyone in that game is <laughs> attractive uh and it's great. i do have a i do have a complaint about hades go for it <gasps> what it's two it's two complaints two complaints yeah one meg isn't a real person and two sure. is not currently dating me that's my only two complaints <laughs> ah, other than that okay. other than that game's perfect mm-hmm. <laughs> now how many how many how many uh at you know, Kate, I know you, this is your, your second time on. Uh, you, anytime we ever rate anything on I Have Notes, it's always out of eight um, <laughs> point four. Um, so okay. how many points would you deduct for those two? Uh, I'll go ahead and say atrocities. I mean, atrocities, I mean, uh, yeah. six. Six points. Okay, three, so we're... Three for we're, not being real and three for not dating me. So that's okay, three so, points each. So one of my favorite games of the year gets... A 2.4 2. 4 out of yes. out of 8.4. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Brutal. Man, I really struggled on that math that I, I complicated okay. myself. You, you, you're gonna sleep you like square, a baby tonight, Carrie. Square block yeah. into a square hole. You yeah, get it there eventually. The, the game oh is perfect. Hades it's, is perfect. Except for those two so things. Good. That's it. And if, if, if for any reason this stopped you before, or if you were looking for a reason to get back in, um, uh, Switch and PC have cross save now. Yes. Ooh, so you yes. can play in your PC oh. and then pick up on your Switch and go back and forth. Nice. Um, oh, I was man. a scrub lord and I did use uh, my uh, elite Xbox controller that has like the back paddles. So I don't know if I can play on the Switch now. We'll see. Because um, oh, okay. I, I learned like a loser. Because uh, these little <laughs> cheats like little babies do. That's what I do. Because um, I'm a little piss boy. Um, there it is. But uh, sorry, it's fun. It's really fun to say. <laughs> Um, There's the uh, the episode title. Yeah. Carrie, oh, please no. Please no. Please no. Please no. Please uh, no. Issa, please stop Issa, him. save me. Um, for this first going round. Back, going back to our animation, uh, my fav- one of my favorite things of 2020 is was the new season of Haikyuu. Hey. Yay. Was this the last season? 
It was season five, I think. Oh, okay. Because um, I know the manga finished. I wasn't sure if the anime yes, was Yes, the finished. manga finished. Uh, I don't think this is the final one. Got you. But it's also production IG, so there's a good chance that every time I think to myself, I don't know if they're going to do the next season, it turns out they are going to do it. So I think they are intent on doing it until the final end but i'm not i'm not really sure frankly mm-hmm. I, I haven't read the manga because I, I that's the that's the one where i actually really want to watch the anime just by itself mm-hmm. that's, that's how i am with my hero even though i'm behind on it yeah. that's exactly how i am mm-hmm. yeah i get it sometimes I'm you just want to watch it on my hero. yeah like and honestly it's really good it's a the haiku this season was just as good there were so many cool animation sequences and a lot of really good good payoffs for characters that you already love anyway so it's just like what i love them even more how is that possible <laughs> um and man some of the sequences were wild there there's this uh, hmm, uh pop quiz who is the guy who did devil man cry baby the reboot oh god i can't remember his name oh uh yeah i don't remember uh, uh okay uh, we know what you're talking about though <laughs> Yes, yeah. yeah. Him. Like, there were some animation sequences where it, like, looked like it was pulled from, like, that guy for some reason. (laughs) You're looking it up. Yeah, you can hear my clicking clack. A good little clack boy looking it up. Look at it go. Uh, Masaka Yuasa? Yuasa. Okay, that's That was the director for Devil and Crybaby. Uh, okay, yeah. It, it's, his stuff does tend to look the same in Mm. terms of, like, this, like, it's it's really a unique uh, look kind of uh, unique look yeah otherworldly like he kind of intentionally goes off model Mm -hmm. um and they had some sequences there where it's just like oh that character looks wild but like it looks so good or it fit like the kind of action that they wanted to go for Mm -hmm. or like this really frenetic energy of this match oh yeah that's right Um, he also directed japan sinks yep yes yeah because i remember that was like oh really okay yeah um, Aaron liked that one. I did. Um, that, that was going to be on my list. Oh. <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. Uh, so that was my, one of my stuff. Can I, uh, can I ask you a Haikyuu question? Because I've never watched an ongoing sports anime. Mm. They, they are in high school? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is not a leading question. Like, I'm sure they've got it. I'm just curious. So, like... In Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and stuff, right? Like, you always have this problem where they ah. they defeat the boss and then now there's something more powerful and they defeat that boss. Is it weird that they haven't graduated yet? Have they graduated? <laughs> Can I know that? Like, I don't want to spoil anything either, but, like, it's one of those things where, like, has the show been going on for, like, 10 years and they're still in, in, in high school? Oh. Um, they're still in the same grade, but what? it doesn't... The, it, it doesn't feel like Ash or Dragon Ball Z okay. because you you really experience like the things in in the the way that they're presenting it chronologically. Mm-hmm. Oh, like twenty four. Um, <laughs> like it's like minute per minute. Uh, <laughs> doop, doop. <laughs> I've never seen this. Show. Neither neither twenty four nor nor Haiku. Um, okay, so exactly. they they live in the moment. Yes, yeah. Okay. And, like, each moment really, like, gets its due. Okay. Um, so it will feel like a whole episode is dedicated to just, like, two minutes yeah. of, like, this entire thing. I feel like but that's a lot of sports like... anime. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a bad yeah, thing. Right. But, yeah. Um, there's 85 episodes and five OVAs, <laughs> and they're still in the same year? Yes. Wow. That's impressive. Like, I'm not even, that's not a bad thing. That's impressive. That's like the fact that, that you're not hitting a fatigue on that is like no, very good. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, season three is an entire match. Oh, Jesus just, Christ! Just one, one, one whole like match, and then all the other seasons are actually like interspersed. Like oh, it's like more than one match. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's High Q's good. Go watch it. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. I I say actually, do we do we need to take a a quick mid mid roll break and then, and then Caden, can. uh, you can take us yeah. next. Um, hi guys. <laughs> Shout out to first members for supporting us during this time. Uh, sign up for first uh, to support us and watch exclusive content. Um, you can join us in chat. You can get some uh, discounts off the store. There's some really cool things that are happening. Um, spoilers, uh, Dead Little Roosters is coming out. <gasps> on so, um, if you're a first member, 
Uh, you can watch more episodes as they come out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, hmm. I'm looking at uh, j- some transparency here. I'm looking at my sheet, and I missed a call out before. Uh-oh. Um, did you guys know that Transformers: War on Cybertron is on Netflix right now? Ooh! I did. Oh snap! Yes. Mm. It's very good. So, uh, Transformers: War for Cybertron: Earthrise <coughs> is uh, the second chapter for the trilogy, and it's brought to you by us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yo! And Hasbro. Uh, so, guys, if you haven't gotten the chance, go check that out. Uh, fun fact, my uncle um, sent me an email saying how much he was really excited for it because he's uh, a huge nerd and he's a kid at heart and he watches all these cartoons still. And he's like, Dang. oh, I was really excited when I saw Rooster Teeth and I thought of you. I was like, thanks, Uncle Aww. John. <laughs> anyway. That's it. Does he does he understand enough about what you do or, or not that you're able to say, like, yeah, I made that. <laughs> <laughs> or did you have to be like, yeah, it was, you know, it's like our company, but I didn't really, you know, like. I, I usually say the latter. Okay. Um, you should take more credit for he, things I'm... you didn't do. It's fun. <laughs> 2021. It's okay. New year, new year. 2021. Me. I made all the Transformers. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> You made this? Um, I made this. I yeah. made this. Don't, don't, I mean, it's just for, like, old people. Just lie to them. It's fine. According to all of my family, I'm an animator. Actually, yeah, according to true. some people in this company, I'm an animator. Crazy. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> we just, we need oh, another God. name, either for the, either for the medium or for the artists that do the animation part of the medium. Okay? It's like, in, instead yeah. of having... Help! Like we have like a healthcare. It's like if we called everybody doctors or something, or like this is the the doctor team, but everybody's not a doctor. Um, There's like doctors and nurses yeah. and, it's, and oh yeah, it's like oh, I work in the medical and, field. And yeah, just like, oh, we just don't. Uh, okay. Yeah, we don't call it the doctor field. We call it the medical field. <laughs> I love watching your brain, like your gears start turning away. Yeah. Trying to figure out what they're what desperately words trying you to fit say. that star like, into the something, square hole. Something that yeah. isn't the word animation. Anything that isn't the word animation. Yeah, I was, I was like, okay, I'll go down this doctor path. Oh shit, I don't know anything besides doctor and nurses because I'm dumb. Ah oh, shit. Uh, uh, McDonald. Uh, um, McDonald's. Kaden, what was something else uh, that you enjoyed in 2021 that uh, you would like to share with the class? Okay, so I talked about this a bunch. I talked about this at the end of 2019 with Cole, and I talked about it this morning, but they released an anime for a series that I was really excited for. It turned out not to be quite how I would have liked them to do it, and that caused it to get pulled from several streaming services worldwide. Um, however, <laughs> it was still airing in Japan, so I just watched it there, and it was. Man, those it flights was, must be crazy. It was. It was very good. Uh, I wish they had handled it a little bit more like the manga, but we did get two more volumes of the manga in 2019 in English, so I was very happy to see that. Uh, it's a little thing called uh, Ishizoku Reviewers, which you may or may hmm. not have heard of. I have not. Hmm. I would uh, tell me more. The second category. Uh, okay, I'm going to read you the synopsis, okay? Okay. <clears throat> In a world where many different humanoid species exist and prostitution is legal, there exists oh. various brothels for each kind of species with <gasps> sucky girls who have oh. succubus blood running through them as each species has different opinions on how each such goo girl works for them. Various brothel visitors have become reviewers oh, rating their experiences and various sucky girls and opposing them in a local tavern opposing them in a local tavern the series largely centers on a human named stunk an elf named zell and an angel named krim and that's the point of it it's very um carrie you were talking about this earlier you're just like you want to mix bull and uwu this mixes bull <laughs> and uwu oh my god <laughs> the thing is is it, it the anime is very very sexual the manga is not it basically gets to the point where they're about to do like the thing and it skips ahead to afterwards mm-hmm. and then oh. they actually post the actual review on the final page of that chapter <laughs> Where it's like, here's their experiences. They actually talk about like consent and they talk about boundaries 
and they talk about like you know how certain things how certain fetishes and certain things make people feel and all that stuff it's brilliantly done in the manga in the anime however it's just okay we're gonna do the setup and i'm just like okay here's where they zip ahead and then it didn't and i'm just like oh no oh no they're showing oh, no. the whole thing <laughs> they're the showing whole it all thing? Uh, so Funimation aired one episode. <laughs> this one. Yeah, they I aired heard one this episode. Part. They aired one episode and then they pulled it. Uh, a lot of people were kind of upset about it because, uh, you know, there's a lot of anime out there that do a lot of nasty and just, it's on everything. Just real dirty. Just real nasty, real dirty. Uh, and it kind of like made me go, huh? Because this one was very like sex positive, very like oh. you know, you know, again, sex workers' rights, very much mm -hmm. in that vein of like normalization of all that stuff. And it was fantastic. And they're just like, no. And I'm just like, curious. But did uh, did it did it feel great. not? Uh, uh, I'm not gonna say that they handled it well in, in terms of like the uh, the the sex positive stuff. Uh, and I also did not watch a lot of it. But did it? Did it? It seems like it would maybe feel like the like the first season of Game of Thrones, when like all uh. of a sudden everybody was watching. Everybody was watching a thing that now had like, a lot of sex stuff in it, and it started to become like a little bit more normal. Like, did did it feel yeah. like a little bit like oh you got some some hentai in my anime, versus yeah. like you, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I, I will say that an attempt to normalize. Not, I'm yeah. not saying they did it well. In, no, or, no, no. Yeah, yeah. no. The there there's two things that I really actually liked about it. Um, one is Krim is uh, basically intersex mm. and is okay. a main character. And I've never quite seen that before. There's a lot of like focus on Krim in a lot of different ways. And it's handled pretty well, mm. like mm. all things considered, especially from a series in Japan. You know what I mean? There's not usually the best. In, in and the, there's a lot of the anime as well. Yeah. Okay. Surprisingly okay. enough, like uh, they actually do things fairly decently. And uh, there is a, a transcoded character in there as well, mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. is a, uh, a hyena, a hyena girl. Ah. And she's fantastic. Her, her voice is fantastically done. Very, she, very smoky voice. And does I, she giggle I a it. lot? No, she's actually Aww. kind of a bitch and I love it. <laughs> well, I mean, that's nice. I mean, the hyenas are, I just, I just, okay. Because hyenas, they you laugh. Know, yeah. That, I mean, I like that you mentioned that you love that she's a bitch, Kaden, because I was like, oh, right, you like Meg. <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh, also, you're looking also, for some step on me energy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I, yeah, this is, yeah, no. No, we're, we're in a good space. It's fine. This is we're a safe space. Yeah. This is a safe space. This is a safe space. Yeah, no, it was, it's, uh, I, I like the, I like the manga better. I'm glad sure. that we got two more manga, uh, two more volumes of the manga in a single year, which is very rare for something that's so niche. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I less recommend the anime, especially cause you can't watch it anywhere, sure. but I do very much recommend the manga because it's, there's a lot of like introspectiveness to it mm -hmm. and like unconscious bias stuff that they go into. And it's just like, Ooh. yeah, you don't like this because it's like this, but that's just because of how you were raised. And it's like, oh, we're really doing this? It's like, is this? I mean, this is this is a manga series that's about naughty stuff. Are we talking about serious <laughs> things? And it does, and it does it in a very fun and informative way, while also giving you exactly what you want. And uh, exactly. Exactly, what you, exactly what you want, Carrie. Okay. Um, <laughs> And they don't shy away from like they don't shy away from same sex stuff or mm -hmm. there is even an, a, a a section where it's just like hey you know what I kind of want to understand what it's like to be on the other side of things, and they swap and they have that moment it's like okay now I've learned and now I understand what it feels like to be on the other side of things, and I've learned how to better treat the opposite sex and it's like look at that, boom golden I love it. Do you do nice. you know? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, is he said, no, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I think you said nice. nice. I realized that. Yeah. Do you, do you, do you know, uh, anything about the, the creator in terms of like other stuff that they've done or is this kind of like uh, their, their first, like, this is something I, I honestly, it, it's very progressive not... for, for Japan, Japanese it manga really animation. Is. And I think it's because it's wrapped in the fan service coding that they kind of were able ah. to get away with a lot of stuff. Sure. Um, 
But the actual like anime itself, I do know the studio that's doing it. It's uh, Passion. The they did they're doing the new season of Higurashi. Ah, oh. uh, they oh, did. Uh, and mm. the new season of Higurashi is real good. Um, they did uh, the Island of Giant Insects, which I believe got kickstarted for a full dub uh, oh, cool. fairly recently. Uh, they did Rail Wars back in 2014. Uh, Hinaka notes in 2017. So they've they've done some some decent stuff. It's nothing like they haven't like knocked anything like big out of the park. But yeah. their animation style is very good. Yeah. Like I like it a lot. Nice. That sounds good. What was the name one more time? Uh, the the studio or the the manga? The, the manga, like this the, the, the series. Manga. Uh, Ishizoku reviewers. Cool. Is it my turn? Aaron, please, yes, yes. please. Oh, how do I follow? <laughs> Take up? it away from me. Yeah. What? <laughs> how do I follow what, up with that? Uh, what human act is your? Are you rating? Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> well, I watched over Thanksgiving in like two days. I watched all of Vinland Saga, which is on oh, oh, yeah. wow. Amazon Prime. Not 2020 release. Uh, I think it came out in 2019. Look, look it's I fine. It, yeah. Look. <laughs> um, that's uh, a, uh, uh, historical... the studio that did Attack on Titan. Yep. Uh, 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 yes. Why am I Wit. blinking? Wit. Thank uh, you. Thank Wit, you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, Wit. Uh, yeah, gorgeous animation. Uh, it's a historical anime about Vikings and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, what what it, kind it of historical follows, is it? it? It loosely follows, like, some... I don't know, like, the proper word for it, but, like, uh, actual historical figures that are near, like, legendary status... Okay. Um, like they're kind of uh, just because it's like so far back, and like they're just because like Viking history is a little like, bit like, like Cleopatra. Yeah, it's a little bit nebulous. Sure. Um, so it has like introduces some fictional characters to interact with these actual mm -hmm. historical figures. I, I just want to really cl quickly clear up that I don't think yes. Cleopatra is a Viking. I was just that was <laughs> the first person I could think of that was like at that legendary status. Yeah. Uh, uh, not a Viking that I'm aware <laughs> of. Not yet. Prove, that prove me wrong. We're gonna start a new series. That's a challenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who, who's a Viking? New one. I have notes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it follows. Uh, let me pull up the synopsis so I don't butcher it. Uh, I think it'd be fun if you do. It follows the character uh, Thorfinn, whose spoilers. This happens like literally within the first episode or two. His yeah. father is killed by a fellow Viking. Uh, and he, this happens like when he's like a child, basically. So he a joins child. the Viking, the Viking who killed his father. Uh, in order to avenge him, he wants to duel him. But evil Viking dude is like, no, no, you're just a child. Maybe in a few years, when you have like a few more battles under your belt, I'll fight you. So it's kind of like this weird, like found family, but they also hate each other kind of thing. That's some like, that's some like Hisaka <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's it's yeah. pretty great. I, I really enjoyed so it. Good. I'm surprised. Um, and I'm definitely going to be reading the manga hopefully pretty soon. Ooh, that's cool. Nice. You said it was, it was Amazon? Yep, Amazon. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if they're going to do more. I haven't heard. I haven't but... heard, but there's definitely been speculation. And because like, Wit's also do. not doing this season of Attack on Titan. Exactly. Yeah. So the final season. The yeah, final season. I need a yeah. final need season. The final yeah. season. I God, I didn't. Well, I haven't watched the new season yet, but I, I wanted to know what happened. So I read all the Wikipedia in like one night, and I couldn't sleep because my <laughs> brain was just like overloaded <laughs> with all this fucking lore. I think I'm gonna wait until there's like two or three episodes left. Yeah, I think that's and then binge it all, and then just like be there for like the last two or something. Yeah. Um. Uh. Get my. My next one's going to be really boring compared to everything else. Um, I listened to the audiobook for A Promised Land, which is uh, oh, Obama's, Barack Obama. Barack Obama's book. Whoa, you wrote a book? Uh, Obama? Not, okay. not going to get political Obama. here, although I do support him very much. Uh, it was just a really good book, and it was really good insight. Uh, it's long. Uh, it was like a 40-hour audiobook, oh, and it, it only covered... I mean, it covered his childhood up to his like first term in the office. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. It was like halfway through before he even got elected in the book. So uh, spoiler alert, he got elected. Um, <laughs> oh, <I agree. laughs> but it, it was, it was, it was really interesting to, to, you know, hear about some of that time from a different perspective or like a, a more uh, uh, with, with his hindsight and uh, uh, just through a different lens and not like mm -hmm. through the media, but from him. 
Uh, yeah, someone who was probably like more involved. <laughs> yeah. One Somebody say. who might know what they're talking about uh, on certain <laughs> topics, yeah, because they were there and doing them, yeah. Uh, yeah. But but things that he probably didn't feel comfortable saying at the time, um, or right. again in hindsight, looking back on it, you know, he he criticizes himself a lot, or or you know, and talks about things mm. that he wish he had done differently. Or I, one of my one of my favorite things, I mean, for, I've been on a, a big kick this year of just like trying to. Uh, you know, really do a better job of, of understanding how I'm affecting other people and trying to put myself in their shoes. And at least in, in retrospect, he does a really good job of, of, you know, he'll say somebody did this thing and it, and it upset me and it angered me. But then, I, you know, but then I thought about what they were thinking and, and how that makes sense and how, why they approach it that way. And, and, and it's just, I don't know, it was, it was a good, uh, uh, ignoring the fact that it's about, uh, our past president. I think it's, it's a, it's an interesting book about looking back at, your own career and your own life um mm. yeah uh if you're listening to the audiobook uh go ahead and, and pop that on 1.2 speed uh because you won't know the difference <laughs> speed run. um i genuinely also i genuinely i put it back Obama on 1x speed and i i was like how how sorry <laughs> is it also obama it's him it's him narrating it. yeah I, I had 40 oh. 40 hours of obama pumped into my brain <laughs> Uh, and for me personally, that felt great uh, at the end of 2020. So that uh, that was like my entire like end of November, December. Oh, that's another like great that title for the episode: Forty Hours of Obama. Yeah, I, I, right, <laughs> right into the, the it, whatever cortex or whatever that shit yeah. is. That's really good. Uh, well, I like that answer, Carrie. Yeah, yeah, it was it was good. It, it was good. Check them out. Yeah. It's 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 uh yeah, it was good. And you get to hear him cuss. <gasps> He says he fuck says a, a couple swear? times. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. Obama says fuck. Yeah. The Let Obama say fuck. Keep keep going, keep going. How dare he? Uh, as in like me? As in are we? Yeah, you go to go to your next one. I'm gonna. Going I have a fu- I have a funny bit in a minute. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I have one. Um, uh, one of the best, most interesting video games I've ever played last year was Aegis Rim: Thirteen Sentinels. Um, Ooh, yeah. So Mm. Developed by Vanillaware, who yes. did of uh, uh, Odin Sphere oh. and oh, that was them? the other game. I only played uh, Odin Sphere. <laughs> Wait, this Odin is, they did the Dragon's game. Crown and yeah. uh, and uh, and Princess Crown. Yes, yeah. Um, they did this one. It is so calling it right out the bat. Uh, Japanese high schoolers. They do do some some stuff. Uh-oh. Um, it's it's just a little like you know a little bit of nakey nakey a little bit of like there's a choice here where one of the girls always wears the sports bloomers um, that is so often presented in Japanese um, in Japanese media and anime but it's the kind where it's not shorts it's like short shorts oh. and you know that there's a bit of bum bum that's sticking oh, out oh is it like the, so. the shorts that look like underwear basically. Yes, gotcha. and <laughs> it is a choice that she is in that uniform for a good chunk of the game. Okay. Um, so, you know, jump over that hurdle, and there is <laughs> mm-hmm. a reason why the game was nominated for uh, one of the best narratives mm-hmm. in uh, the Game Awards for 2020. Uh, Well-deserved, mm-hmm. and I think it should have won. Um, but it the way it gets you thinking about science fiction and how you play a game imagine trying to play a game both like present future and past at all at the same time oh no it challenges you to think in that way while it's also both like kind of visual novel esque um it's more point point and click with a bit of art or uh, real-time strategy i have wild i'm just realizing yeah. i've heard about this game yeah they, they talk very about the, they talk about the besties uh yeah oh yes it looks yeah. very interesting <laughs> Voice I, uh, cast is fantastic too. Uh, it's really good. The lovely, I, um, uh, the lovely Christina Valenzuela oh. is uh, is in it as well, and Hell yeah. yes, she's so good. Like she's so good. Just Christina V knocks it out the park. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, she's good. like fantastic. Oh, I couldn't yeah. find the like clip that a... I had because uh, I got a new oh. phone. Uh, <laughs> this is not gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Hang on a second. Okay. Here we go, real quick, real quick. Uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, just don't say anything for a second. Hang on. Uh, oh shit. Oh, this is really bad, y'all. You know what? Hey, ignore this. It's not gonna work. 
Oh, no. It's not gonna work. Oh, Check in the chat. Uh, uh, Obama said a cuss. Chat, Done. That's it. You heard it here first. Oh, we'll get it in he, post. Which, which cuss is he gonna say? He he was he was he was he was, he was talking about like they were uh, they, it wasn't looking good for I think one of the primaries or something like that and uh, uh, they were they were like trying to laugh it off and 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 uh, one of his campaign managers came in and he said hey you're bumming us out either grab a drink or get the fuck out of here <laughs> like. <laughs> It was, it was just very real. It was a very real moment, I and uh, I enjoyed that. that. But you know, uh, we'll cut that part out. Didn't didn't Obama call Kanye West a, like a bitch or something too? <laughs> I can't remember. I don't or know he, about no, that. He's a fucking asshole or something. It wouldn't surprise me. It was like a leaked. That's it was funny. a leaked thing with the Taylor Swift Kanye thing happened. That's yeah, very funny. Yeah, we're not surprised at all. Should we speed um, run? You know what? Last... Have... Oh, sorry, Isa. <laughs> No, I was gonna say it's like, have we all not called Kanye an asshole at least once in our life? He calls himself I mean, an asshole, yeah. I mean, he does. So it's, it's only fair. He also calls himself a god, uh, so it's fine. Yeah, let's do speed oh, run real Mike quick. Mike says he called him a jackass. Yeah, jackass. Okay, yeah. Uh, Thank you. speed run, speed run. Uh, I was gonna say Genshin Impact, but you know what I'm gonna actually say? I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say Ruby Volume Eight because oh, no, oh, you can't yeah. do that. You can't do no, that. I can. I can. <laughs> Me because Mike. I started as a fan first, so I get to say that. I love the hell out of everything that happened oh, in so is funny. happening in Volume Eight so far. It's like it's just been phenomenal. Like it's been amazing. Aww. So. Thank uh, you. Thank you once again for, for, for having me be a part of it. But more importantly, uh, I love everything about what's going on. And Winter is still my absolute crush to end all crushes. Uh, oh, thank you. vibes, I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Again, there oh, it is. Yeah. We're bringing it all back around. There it is. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Katie, I like <laughs> I like how both of you legit went. Don't you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. No. I get to do that. I get to do that. Not I, you allowed. Know what? You invited me on. I'm the guest. I can do this. Fine. This one time. <laughs> Thanks. This one time. Thanks, Kaden. Genshin Thank Impact's you. great too, though. It Genshin's is also very fun. good. It's it's a very fun game. Voice acting's fantastic. Yeah. Breath of the Wild, but with waifus. So Breath of the Waifu. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh, Aaron. So it's Kaden did two. Uh, Japan Sinks and Kengen Ashura, which I kind of m- mentioned once. Uh, great Ooh. 3D uh, mixed martial arts anime on Netflix. It's cool. Uh, quite great. quite a joy. There we go. Wow. I uh, uh, I want to get a live action thing in there. Uh, uh, Ted Lasso. 10 out of 10. Uh, and I also, I just want to really quickly say that I realized while prepping for this episode that I did not, I don't think that I saw a movie that came out in 2020. <laughs> so, that's uh-oh. Fine. Um, uh-oh. You dodged uh, some real stinky, stinker, so it's okay. But yeah, you really did. It's fine. Ted Lasso is great. And then uh, my spoiler alert uh, from earlier was uh, I lo- I've been playing Minish Cap and I love it. Uh, 2020 was a year of going back to games that I never got a chance to play. Um, so that counts too. Uh, Issa. My last one is a game called Dicey Dungeons, which is really <gasps> cool. You oh, guys love it too? I am so, so glad. Oh my so God, good. we're talking after this one. <laughs> Please. I, I want to check it out because it just came out on Switch a few weeks ago, right? It it's did, so it is fun. amazing. I have been playing that for the past week. Yeah, I, I am texting every single one of you who it's has gasped. so good. <laughs> I'm excited. Please play Dicey Dungeons. It's amazing. And the it's soundtrack great. is a fucking bop. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's very good. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, we did it. Well, hey, great we timing. That was great. That was fun. Yay. I hope I've definitely <laughs> learned a couple things that I want to check out now. Yeah, I hope same. y'all in the chat are watching this later. Uh, I'm going to listen to it as well. Say, oh, yeah. Though, these are some stop. nice shirts that we have. Issa, where could we Ooh. get them? Wow, oh, my God. If you don't know, go to store.roosterteeth.com for... An I have no shirt. And then get a Sharpie have... and write piss boy on it. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, do that. don't do that. And uh, um, uh, also, uh, while Ruby's on break, check out uh, the, the Grim campaign. Because uh, yes! uh, you may not have had a first membership so when it was airing, but uh, it's, it's very, very good. It's very fun. Yes. And I like it's it. It's very good. Eddie and everybody else but me did a great job. Carrie, you did a great that job. That means too. Carrie did a great yeah. job too. Carrie did a great Carrie job. Carrie did the Carrie best job. Carrie did a great job. Carrie, when are we that. playing Golden Sun? Carrie, I want to I have you captain. Let's play all games. Let's do it. We'll Let's back. do it. We're we'll gonna play back. Golden Sun together. We'll come back. I'm down. <laughs> all right, good. Ian <laughs> Dale, Cisa. Uh, uh, watch that little roosters. Friday, January eighth. Um, Ooh. there's a. It says promote next stream, which says stay zen with Caden. Yeah. 
What? Yeah, that's Aww. me tomorrow. It's Are you gonna do it tomorrow morning? I got some guests. They might be from animation, and we're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be good. And no Everybody one will say Ulu. piss. No one will say piss. <laughs> so if you're in the chat tomorrow, Ulu. definitely don't encourage anyone to say piss. <laughs> Piss Nation, Bring your boo energy, everybody. Yeah. Let's go. Boo woo energy. Boo woo. Boo woo. <laughs> and with that, Bye. have a good 2021, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>